what's up y'all welcome to my channel i'm crystal divine queen this is my indigenous lifestyle thank you so much for tuning into this video as you can tell by the title i'm going to be getting into will insurance actually pay for you to have a home birth with a midwife now in my last video i talked about different ways to pay for your home birth with a midwife and i did go over insurance but i went over it very briefly and there's actually a whole lot that goes into being able to use insurance to pay for your home birth it's not a real easy smooth process so i felt like this is a topic that deserves its own video so let's get into it honey so does insurance cover midwifery services for a home birth yes but there are a lot of things that you need to know about the process. And it's a lot. I'm going to try my best to deliver this information in a way that is easy to digest and receive. <laughs> but it's a lot. Now, if you have health insurance and you already have a midwife in mind, the first thing you need to do is find out if your insurance covers that particular midwife make sure that your midwife is covered by your health insurance if you don't have a particular midwife in mind but you know that you want one for your home birth then you can reach out to your insurance company and find out what midwives they cover that do home births now back it up to if you have a midwife in mind when you call your insurance company and ask them if they cover that midwife if they say yes you need to find out if that midwife is in network or out of network so when midwives are in network with an insurance company midwives then accept whatever pay amount the insurance company sets and they're not allowed to bill the family for the price difference so a lot of midwives that do home births you may find are out of network and that's because the insurance companies do not want to pay the midwives the whole fee that they require a lot of times they don't even want to pay half of that so they're out of network but just because they're out of network doesn't mean that that midwife is not able to bill your health insurance so don't get discouraged if they say she's out of network now keep in mind that this only matters if you have private health insurance in my last video i told you there are three types of health insurances that can cover a home birth with a midwife so you have your private insurance you have medicaid and then you have cost sharing organizations also known as cso's that are usually religious based or a part of a, a, a faith health ministry right now i'm talking about people who have private health insurance and the process for them now if you don't have a midwife in mind and you call your health insurance and you ask them to search for you or provide a list you want to ask them very specifically to do a search for a cpm or a lm okay a certified professional midwife or a licensed midwife okay do not include a cnm which is a certified nurse midwife because they don't do home births and you want to make sure to include that they do a search within 50 miles of where you stay now when they do the search they may tell you we have no midwives in network and that is when you may need to initiate for them to search out of network but there is a process with dealing with an out of network midwife so once you tell them to look out of network you want to request that they provide an exemption or an exception form or some type of letter or documentation providing authorization to use a midwife that is out of network and two things that you want to do also is one get a reference number and two make sure that you are requesting your exemption letter to be within a year of your due date because sometimes they'll give you one but it'll only be for like a few months you just want to make sure that it covers you after your due date because you'll still be receiving midwifery services now depending on your health insurance this is the part where it can get tricky depending on your health insurance 
it might go nice and smooth from here or you might start <laughs> going into a bunch of different things but because from this point forward it's not a blanket general answer towards you know what's the process going to be from here with private insurance i'm not going to elaborate because like i said it's different depending on your health insurance i will tell you that the process usually works in reimbursement to the midwives so i've seen some cases where the family pay the midwife out of their pocket and then the insurance company reimburses them i've seen instances where the midwife you know provides services and is reimbursed from the health department i mean not the health department the health um insurance provider and um by you know billing them and they reimburse her but a lot of times that can be problematic because the health insurance is more likely to pay the client reimburse reimburse the client because they don't want to lose a client rather than reimburse a midwife that is not even covered in their network oh and one more thing do not be afraid to appeal if you don't get that exemption letter or you know you run into another type of speed bump along the way do not be afraid to appeal and appeal again and again and again this is why i say it's not a smooth selling process it can be a little stressful mommy you might want to have somebody you know kind of deal with this for you because it can be a lot of ups and downs back and forth and you know stress isn't good for you and the baby if they deny you apply i mean <laughs> I cannot talk today appeal as much as you need to until you get that yes and remember everything that i just said is pertaining to having a midwife using your insurance your private insurance to pay for your midwife for a home birth when you want to use your insurance to pay for a midwife in a birthing center that's a whole different ball game so now we're going to move on to medicaid i know you guys are probably like what medicaid yes so here's the thing upon my research i did not find a direct no to the question will medicaid pay for a home birth with a midwife i could not find a no but i also could not find a yes so that means that there's a gray area and it is a possibility that you can it's also a possibility that you can so that would vary depending on where you live the region maybe the midwife in particular that you want to deal with or you know midwife availability but there are i did find that there are some midwives out there that said that they have and do accept medicaid so it is a possibility and i know for me, I always thought Medicaid ain't going to pay for that, you know, because they want you to birth in the hospital. That's why they cover everything, you know. But if you dig deep and you ask the questions, <laughs> remember when things are a gray area, it's like that for a reason. You know, well, if nobody never asks, then we never have to say or look into these type of things. So just don't get ugh just don't get discouraged if you have medicaid and you want to have a home birth and you want to have one with a midwife now that may be even more of a stressful battle than dealing with the private insurance but if you can make it happen make it happen go through the process and then you know by you going through the process you can let another mother know hey this is what you have to do this is what to expect this is how i bypassed all of that be a blessing to yourself, your baby, and someone else, okay? Now, also in doing my research, remember I said that I seen that a few midwives said that they have and do accept Medicaid. Medicaid, excuse me. One resource that I found was the midwives were operating in Virginia, if I'm not mistaken. So if you're in Virginia, you know, you may be able to find one. Because I saw <laughs> somewhere a midwife was talking about it. And I do believe that she was in Virginia, the state of Virginia. So she broke down a whole process that you have to go through in order to obtain her services through Medicaid. So I'm going to share that with y'all. Again, I want to reiterate, this may not work for every state across the board in America. It may not work for everyone in the state of Virginia. 
but it is something worth looking into and the fact that a midwife or a couple you know are actually talking about these things furthermore lets me know that it is a possibility outside of it just being a gray area where there is no black and white answer that says no you can't use medicaid to pay for a home birth so this is how the process goes first you want to ensure that your midwife is a medicaid provider and then second thing you want to do is seek out an exemption and you want to do this as early as 28 weeks into your pregnancy but before birth so that's the timeline for you to seek out an exemption but you don't have to wait until 28 weeks to find out or search for a midwife who is a medicaid provider so during that time frame window you may be able to apply for an exemption and when you are applying for that exemption you are switching to midwifery care now, while you're doing this, you also want to inquire about hospital transfers because we all know that's a possibility when you're having a home birth, right? So inquire about that because there may be an additional fee for that, being that Medicaid is only in agreement to pay for midwifery care or the home birth service. So just be mindful, ask those questions because you don't want to run into a situation where there's an overlap in your coverage due to having a hospital transfer another reason she was saying that you have to wait until 28 weeks to apply for an exemption is because medicaid will not cover midwifery prenatal care medicaid will only cover the birthing labor services uh, from your midwife at home again Please don't go out here th saying Crystal said, okay, look, it's a gray area, so it's not going to be the same everywhere, even if you're in Virginia. It's just, this is what one particular midwife said. She was the only midwife that I found that actually laid out a process, and I'm just sharing it with you so you can kind of know the questions to ask. But Medicaid technically doesn't cover prenatal care before the 28 weeks so you want to wait until you're in that period of 28 weeks so that's the medicaid spiel it may be a possibility for you sis if not <laughs> i did not mean to clap that loud but if not you can look into cso's which again are cost sharing organizations these are usually religious faith-based programs that have something to do with you know just ministry and you know they offer to pay a portion or maybe even pay the whole amount um the difference is you don't pay a premium you just kind of pay a monthly fee and you can enroll in these at any time so there's not like an enrollment period but i have found in my life that a lot of organizations that are faith-based do a lot to help out people in the community so even if you're not aware go to your church and ask them if they can support you or if they know of any other sister ministries that are in the business of helping women have home births and paying financing for um the midwife the midwife services there's so many out there i definitely did not put together a list but now you have something to take with you after watching this video and get the researching and make a way make a way to have that home birth with the midwife if that's what you want to do because i understand that every woman is not ready to take the unassisted home birth path okay it's a lot of fear it's a lot of program it's a lot of conditioning um it's a lot for us to have anxiety and worry about and we don't want to go into birth with anxiety and worry and fear because that's going to work against the whole process of birth so i'm giving you ladies the tools the resources to look into take advantage of this information okay take advantage of this information and if i don't care if this video has been out for five years if you watch this video and you went and looked into something that i told you and it worked out for you i want you to come back to this video and comment and say crystal this worked for me or just let me know what your experience was about all right that's it for this video though. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that I have shed some enlightenment on, you know, 
the process of using insurance to pay for your home birth with a midwife. Y'all know y'all need to like, comment, and subscribe, especially if you made it to the end of the video. And if you did make it to the end of the video, I want to see green heart emojis this time, okay? So I know who's out there, you know what I'm saying, really with your girl, okay? I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.